everybody, welcome into the show tonight. I'm Brian Keating alongside Carson Cunningham. Um, emergency edition of <laughs> Crashing the Boards. <laughs> emergency edition, I think that's right. Uh, Oklahoma State hired a basketball coach, Mike Boynton. Uh, he was an assistant under Brad Underwood at Oklahoma State and all the way back to Stephen F. Austin. Um, it's got a lot of people with a lot of different opinions. A lot of people wanted Gottlieb. There was a lot of names thrown out there. When they get to Mike Boynton, what do you think? One word comes to mind, Brian, uninspiring. Of yep. all the scenarios I envisioned for this coaching search, them hiring a Brad Underwood assistant disciple was not one that entered my mind. I thought they would interview the local assistants and Doug Gottlieb and then make a national coaching search. The big problem I have with this, they hired Eddie Fogler to do a national coaching search. Eddie Fogler coached Mike Boynton. That to me, <laughs> screams of conflict of interest. This hire screams to me of Mike Holder saying, I don't really care if we win at basketball, I just want to hire a guy on the cheap. To compete in the Big 12 Conference, you're going up against behemoth head coaches. And if you're, not, if you're going to hire a guy with no head coaching experience, you, hi, you hire, you the, hire the one that everybody wanted you I mean, to hire. I, 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 his introductory press conference, I don't know how Mike Holder's going to sell this. I think crickets will be chirping. I think Gallagher Iba will have crickets in it with this hire. It's totally uninspiring. Look, I, I don't want to assume this guy can't win. I don't know anything he, about Mike Boyd. I, I don't I, know either. I've never I never heard his name <laughs> until this afternoon. So I don't have any idea. But I he's never been a head coach. And if I don't know, Mike Holder certainly doesn't know if he can win as a head coach either. Um, he hired him because he was cheap. Mike didn't want to pay a buyout, didn't want to pay this basketball coach a lot of money. Mike Boynton might end up being a head coach, but I'll tell you this, if you're going to hire a cheap basketball coach, all the money that you saved with this hire, you better pay Mike Gundy Park and have truck. a contract done by Monday. You got a top 10 head coach, if you're going to be cheap at basketball, whatever you are not spending at basketball, you better pay Mike Gundy. The Brinks truck should be pulling up to Gundy Ranch ASAP. It's a cheap hire. I think this too. Mike Holder doesn't like to be told what to do. Yeah. All this groundswell for Doug Gottlieb, Mike Holder doesn't like to be told what to do. He thinks he's the smartest guy in the room. He's done a lot of good things for Oklahoma State, but he thinks he's the smartest guy in the room. And I think today we found out he's going to do whatever he wants to do whether it's good or bad or indifferent. And I get keeping current players and recruits intact with this hire, but that is short-sighted. You're hiring a coach for the future and beyond, not just to keep the current unit together. It's great to win next year. Winning next year doesn't matter. You want to win for 20 years. Maybe Mike Boynton will be that guy, but a lot of people not exactly thrilled who are OSU fans tonight. For Carson, I'm Brian with Crashing Boards.